Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. I am making coffee. What else do I do in the mornings? But today is Friday, actually, so I am working. Oh no, do I have room for this? Do I have room? Barely. It is currently 8.24, and I'm just gonna bring you along for a little day in my life. This might not work out. I need, I need a plan B. This is so full, and I still haven't even added my protein to it yet. Oh no, I don't wanna spill it. Dear Lord, baby Jesus, please be with me as I pour this coffee over. <gasps> Ooh, not too shabby, not too shabby. Now let's try this again. Let me show you how easy this just blends everything. I know I already blended most of it, but it just works so nice. Blending up my protein in my coffee. This is the protein that I use if you guys were curious. I've talked about it before. It's the One Up Nutrition Vegan Protein in the flavor Caramel Toffee Macchiato. Mm mm mm. So good. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you in my legs? Why? Mom's just trying to make her coffee. You guys, Honey has been obsessed with this towel that we got. Ow, don't bite me. We got this towel out the other day because it was raining and we needed to wipe her paws off when she came inside and she stole it from us and this is what she does all day. She just prances around with it, so proud. <laughs> is that your towel? Is that your towel? Huh? Somebody's wanting some attention. Are you are you a little jealous today, Bubbles? You're never really jealous. Are you a little jealous today? It's been so weird lately. Like I know it's because like the weather. It's been like more chilly in the mornings and rainy and stuff. Today is like the first day that it's been beautiful out already this morning. But I've been having hot coffee instead of iced coffee. Like I said, it's just been chilly and I need to warm up. <laughs> I've been turning the heater on in the mornings because I'm just so cold. Because there's a vent right under my desk and. I have a blanket on 24 seven when I work anyway, so I'm like, I do not need cold air blowing at me. I need to be warm, so. He is currently on, which Jared gets mad at me when I do that, but I don't care. He's not the one that sits over a freaking cold vent. <laughs> So hot coffee it is. You yeah, guys, it's my favorite thing ever when she plays like this. When she lays on her back and flips her hands up like that. It's so cute. You can't tell me that's not so cute. Do you need something? Huh? You're pretty jealous this morning. Why are you pretty jealous? But these dogs, you guys, they're just putting us through it right now. We had, oh shit. We just had to take, I almost said Jared. We just had to take Granger to the vet on Tuesday because he's been like having ear pain and stuff and one of his ears was really dirty but the other one wasn't so like we just wanted to make sure everything was okay so we got that all cleaned out and all his shots updated and stuff and then like a month ago I talked about how Honey had been having like diarrhea problems like throughout the night like we'll wake us up four or five times to go to the bathroom. I took her to the vet and they like cleaned out her anal glands or something like that and now she's having like that same issue which is just so weird because like she goes poop during the day like solid but she only has like to like go to the bathroom several times a night in the middle of the night so I'm like why is it just at nighttime that you like have to go you know out and poop like I don't understand the other night Jared I swear got up like six times with her and then last night I had to get up what was it, three or four times with her? It's exhausting, I feel so bad for her because I know she you know, doesn't wanna have to get us up, but she obviously can't just poop everywhere. She did the first night, cause I don't know if Jared and I just didn't hear her scratching at the door, but she did go on our bathroom, or she did go on our bedroom floor. And Jared and I had to wake up at like 4.30 and clean it up, it was bad. But yeah, so I don't know, I feel so bad and I called the vet today to make an appointment because it's like, she does it one night, but then she's good throughout the day. And then you're like, okay, maybe it went away. And then in the middle of the night, she does it. And it's like that cycle for like three days. And so finally last night, 
that I was like I'm calling the vet today and making another appointment so that's what I did and today's Friday and they said they can't get her in until Wednesday so I'm like if she's not still having these problems by Wednesday do I like still take her in but I was dumb and started googling last night at like 2 in the morning because I just wanted to know what was going on and I should not have done that because it scared the crap out of me talking about like it's a very serious matter in there she could have parasites and stuff like that and I just don't even want to think about that so that's that's my life right now like I said we took Granger to the vet and we have to give him eardrops and a medicine pill or whatever once every 12 hours he seems to be doing a lot better and not in pain so that's good are these helping you feel better no you can wait good boy come here not you I don't need you Go away. Come here. Give me the I guess I better take the lid off first. Oh, thank you. Does that feel good? Does that feel good, huh? Before I get back to work, I wanted to unbox this with you guys real fast. Make sure my address ain't nowhere. I got this in the mail yesterday, and I'm so excited to try it out. Ugh, it's so pretty. But a few weeks ago, this skincare brand reached out to me and wants to collab. So I'm going to like test out their products for a while and eventually, hopefully, do a collab with them, depending, you know, on how it works for me. But it's your skin, and like this just looks so cute. It's so aesthetic. And it is a personalized like skincare brand, like custom to your skin, obviously. So you open up this little tab right here. It says the world's most responsive personalized skincare. And then it comes with this little card thing. This just tells you like what products you're doing or how to use them. Ooh, the feel of this is so nice. I don't even want to open this. It's so cute. Aww. Look how cute this is. I'm so obsessed. So in here I got a cleanser and then I got a day cream and then they sent a serum that's nice and then also a night cream now, oh what's this also a face mask nice and then as well as a headband I guess that's really cool this packaging though it's so cute it's like that texture that's like so soft and I love it so yeah I'm gonna test out these products see how they work for me but yeah I just wanted to show you guys that and unbox it with you so I'm super excited and honestly they couldn't have reached out at a better time because my skin has just been freaking going through it like it's just been going crazy which I mean my diet has not been the best I know but still like it's just been out of this world Jared like every time he sees like a blackhead or like a pimple on me or something like that he's like "Ooh, let me get it like that's just how we've always been with each other and he has like obviously noticed a lot more on my face lately and so he's like what is going on with you like what have you changed that your face is like starting to get bad again because I did have it like looking really good but yeah I don't know even Jared noticed so I'm hoping that this really helps me out and it couldn't have come at a better time so very excited to try them out okay so it is a little later it's 10 44 and I'm getting ready to walk to the post office to get the mail I do this like every day mid-morning just to take like a quick 10 minute break from work and honestly I'm excited to because I haven't been able to do this for the past like freaking week because it's been raining non-stop here so I'm excited to go today and I was going to get back to my morning movement which I started like walking before work at like 6 a.m. every day but I haven't been able to do that either because freaking rain you know and I was going to do it this morning because like I mentioned earlier it's like seriously beautiful out today but I was up with honey like four times last night so I didn't get a lot of sleep then and then also at like what 1 45 or something I got a notification that our ring went offline and then our internet was down and so I was like trying to figure that out this morning and that took like literally an hour I had to come out here and like mess with the internet and I could not figure it out and I finally gave up on it and just went and laid in bed and scrolled on my phone because I couldn't go back to sleep and then literally like 30 minutes later it's like connected again so that was nice but that also had me up for like two extra hours in the middle of the night and I could not get up at six this morning because 
between that and then letting honey out four different times, I was like, yeah, no, I'll just walk later this evening. But I'm just gonna get a little mini walk in now. It takes around 10 minutes, which I can get like a little over half a mile in. So that is what we're getting ready to do now. Okay, so it is 3.47 and we've had a change of plans. Once I clocked out of work, Honey had to have me let her out like two or three more times within like 20 minutes to go poo. So I was like, okay, there's just no heckin' way that I am waiting until Wednesday to have her seen by the vet. So I called them again, like just seeing if they had a cancellation or if, you know, there was anything I could give her to like not have her feel like she has to poop all the time. Cause I feel so bad. They were like, okay, well, how does four o'clock sound and I was like today are you kidding me and they're like yeah and I was like um yeah absolutely so I'm gonna be taking her to the vet here in literally 10 minutes and I have hardly ate anything so I'm like trying to make a snack real fast I'm having these waso crackers wasa I don't know how to pronounce it they're pretty good they're like really long and I'm just putting some hummus on them and then I'm also having a mini rx bar so that my stomach is not growling the whole time. But yeah, I was gonna like go to the grocery store to get groceries and stuff, but that's not gonna happen for now at least. I don't know how long this will take. But she doesn't really act like she feels sick. Like she was still playing with Granger and stuff. But I just, I don't want there to be something wrong with her. And then I feel guilty because I waited all the way till Wednesday to find out that there's something wrong with her. And I just wanna get it figured out now, especially before the weekend, you know, that would be terrible. You need to put a leash on her sit we're not going for a walk like you think we are sit she's so proud of her leash you're not you don't want that okay i need that so i can walk you no let go hey you gotta wait get up there good girl <laughs> she's so cute look how cute she is but you're so adorable are you a good girl at the vet huh her did so good we just got back from the vet. These dogs, they're gonna make us poor, okay? They're literally gonna have to get jobs and pay their own vet bills, but I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> so basically, I have a bougie ass dog and she now needs canned dog food for the next week, which he said that I could either make chicken and rice for her for the next week. And I was like, no, I'm not making chicken and rice for her for a whole week, two times a day. Or they had this like dog food that I could buy, which I did that. So I bought a case of 12, which she'll eat two cans a day for a week. And you got some dewormer on your face. They said that is just to like kind of reset her digestive system. Um, she can't eat for 24 hours, so. Gosh, what is her problem? She can't eat for 24 hours starting tonight, so I can't feed her again till tomorrow night, which I haven't told her yet, so she might be a little bummed. She loves to eat. They gave her a dewormer. They didn't think it was worms, which is good. They emptied her anal glands again. One side was just full and the other side was not really bad at all. What else? They gave her a shot, some sort of like antibiotic shot and steroids. And then he listened to her and he said, usually if it was like worms or like anything like that, you would hear gurgling in her stomach and he didn't hear any of that. But yeah, they sent me home with antibiotic pill that I have to give her like every 12 hours and then some kind of paste stuff that I have to give her every 12 hours. So between her two things that I have to give her every 12 hours, I have to give Granger a medication and then eardrops every 12 hours. So I'm like, this is too much. This is too freaking much for me. I really need to go to the store because I don't have any food here, but I just, I don't really want to leave. He said like she wouldn't get drowsy or anything like that, but I just feel bad because I don't want her to like have an accident in her kennel if she has to go and I don't want her to have to hold 
hold it and have her stomach get upset. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just go to the grocery. Oh, but tomorrow's Saturday. The grocery store is always so busy on Saturday. It's never busy on Friday night. So I don't know. Maybe I just will have to go tomorrow morning or something. I don't know. But this vlog is not panning out how I thought it was going to pan out, you know? But yeah, that's what's happening right now. I don't know what's going on, what I'm getting ready to do. My battery is blinking at me. So I'll just catch y'all when I know what the heck's going on. Okay. Okay. You guys, I just thought of something I could do for this vlog. Yes, I can finally update my chalkboard. That's literally been like that since February, obviously. And then I also can update our calendar. I just updated it to May, like a week ago, but I can update it to June now since it's the third. Also, if I wanted to get real crazy, I could, um, you know, clean my makeup room. This room just drives me absolutely crazy. Like, it's honestly such a nightmare and I can never get it to stay clean, which is why I just don't even want it anymore. I would rather just move all my makeup stuff into our bathroom and just get ready in the bathroom all the time. But yeah, so this is not fun. I don't think I'll get to this, but I don't know. I don't know. We can see about it. Alright guys, quick and easy. Don't have much going on this month, I guess. But today is National Donut Day, I just remembered. Sadly, I don't think I'm gonna participate in donuts is one of my favorite foods, but it's okay. But yeah, other than that, just my sister's birthday on the 14th. And that is it for the month of June that I can think of <laughs> until Jerry gets here. As I fall behind. Okay, why do I look freaking orange i feel like whatever hey don't eat that i'm gonna clean this off and then i'm gonna look on pinterest and see what i want to put on it i'm probably just gonna put something like with summer because then it can last a few months I don't want to do anything like 4th of July or anything like that because chances are I'm not going to get it changed by then, you know? I literally would not mind doing something with Christmas because it can work with Christmas in July and then like I wouldn't have to change it till next freaking year, you know? Stop licking it. What are you doing? No wonder you have like freaking issues shitting yourself you eat everything. It's like engraved on there. Like the color is gone, but I can still see what it says because it's been on there so long. Yeah, it's, that's a problem. I mean, it's not bad, but you can still kind of see what it says. Are you seeing it? Are you seeing it? Probably not because the glare. Can you see it now? I don't know. I'm gonna have to use more elbow grease, I guess. Wait, it's gone. Am I losing my damn mind? Probably. <laughs> While I'm working on this. I could start a new Netflix show or something. Every day during work, I've been watching this show called Fixer to Fabulous, and it's like a home renovation show, and I'm just so obsessed with it, and I'm so sad that I finished it. I had started it like years and years ago, but I just had got so busy that I never finished it. So I had like two seasons to finish, and I wonder if they're coming out with a new season soon, because that would be great. Do you want through? Go, go. Thank you. Just watching these shows makes me wish that I lived in Bentonville, Arkansas, so I could like have, not that I have that money to have them come <laughs> to my house, but I love Dave and Jenny and I just want them to fix my house because they, they just kill it every time, you know? I think I like this show way better than I like Fixer Upper, you know, by Chip and Joanna. Fixer to Fabulous is returning for a fourth season. Ooh, ooh, ooh. HGTV has renewed the series for 16 new episodes, which will begin airing on the cable channel in the late fall. Yes! Okay, let's find something to watch on Netflix. Oh my god, you guys. I think this is like so exciting. So I just got on Netflix, right? And there is a new freaking season of All American. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this show to come back forever. Let's see. Season four. 20 episodes? Oh my god. This is just the best news ever. Huh. This is better than National Donut Day. 
Emily, you just socked me. I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. So that's going to consist of my whole weekend now. That's great. <laughs> Good thing I don't have any plans. Will you, like, get down, please? Mom's trying to watch some shows now. Okay. Well, I just had to let you know that if you are an All-American fan, season four is now out. And I'm so excited. Let's watch All-American. You're such a big girl. I'm so sorry for dreaming about the future. this done it just says bless this house i kind of just went with something basic so that i didn't have like a deadline to change anything but this is all i'm gonna get done tonight because i'm the person that you know can do the calligraphy jared is the person that you know is the artist and draws so i figured like maybe at the top of it he could draw something like a little art or something sorry i'm using the camera as my pointer finger because i'm holding this up <laughs> i figured maybe he could like do a little arch right here or something or a wreath but yeah that's basically all that's gonna get done tonight but it's actually kind of cute and just very basic and simple and i kind of dig it you know sister was by me the whole time yes her tired girl her tired girl and then bubba's down there under my feet <laughs> oh sorry was i not supposed to show him are you jealous now Huh? Are you jealous, girl? You're so jelly. You're so jelly. Okay, so this is much later. After I did the poster thing, Granger and I went on a walk. I did not take honey because I just did not want her pooping in everybody's yard. And I honestly just didn't know how she felt going for a walk. But she did fine in her kennel. As soon as I was walking in the door, our neighbor's daughter came out and asked if Jared was here. Because, what was it, Thursday night? My neighbor texted me and asked if Jared was here. Because she was having a hard time breathing. She was having pain in her arm and up to her jaw. And she wanted Jared to go over and like take her blood pressure and everything but jared wasn't here that was like at 10 o'clock and jared didn't even get off work until like 10 30 and so he didn't get home till like 11 something so they called 911 the other night and they took her to the emergency room and they found out that she was having a heart attack or a, like a type 2 heart attack something like that and she's been in the hospital and she just got released from the hospital today and she got home this afternoon and her daughter just ran out and said that she's feeling like she's having another one so i ran over there you are not eating my apple. No. So I went over there and just sat with her and called Jared and just anything I could, you know, do to like comfort her or, you know, if Jared could help us out or whatever, just to tell Jared all her symptoms and stuff like that. But yeah, the police and the fire truck just got there. So I just came back over here just to be out of everybody's way. But now I'm finally sitting down to eat dinner and I'm so hungry. Really random dinner. I'm having a hamburger with some sugar-free ketchup and some mustard, an apple, and then some frozen blueberries, which I'm so obsessed with frozen blueberries lately. They're just so good. I'm probably going to finish the second episode of All American that I started. And then I'm probably going to... Oh, I do need to give the dogs their medicine. I can't forget that. Hey, sorry, baby. Mama can't give you no food. The vet said no food for honey. This thing is what I have to give honey, and I have no idea how to do it. He showed me how. So I'm supposed to give five cc's, so I need to twist this down to where it says five, I guess. Okay, it's on five. Now what do I do? Okay, so I push and then it can't go past this or what? I don't know what I'm doing. I guess. Let's try it. Honey, sit. Sit. Good girl. No, open your mouth. Open your mouth. You want it? I'm gonna do it like the doctor does it. Put it on your side. <laughs> this is so gross. I'm getting all over. Here, open. Ow, my finger's caught. Ow! This is a disaster. Is that good? Hey, here. It's like peanut butter, basically. It doesn't smell like peanut butter, but it kind of looks like peanut butter. And she likes it. She's licking it. Look, there's some right here. Okay, one out of four done. Now you'll get another pill. Oh no, these are like legit pills. How the heck? We don't have any pill pockets. Ugh, that shit. Sit. Eat it. Can you eat it? She's not gonna eat it. Eat it. Nah, me. Nope. Spit it up. <laughs> we don't have any pill pocket things either. 
Hey, where are you going with that? You just eat it. Granger, you're up next. No, you have a pill that you need to go eat. You need to go eat your own pill, honey. Good boy, that's a good boy. Who's the best boy? Sit, good boy. Good boy, Granger. Squishy, squishy, squishy. Squishy, squishy, squishy. Mm. Does that feel so good? <gasps> Honey, what the fuck did you do? You guys, oh my god. Look at this. No, look what she did. She freaking broke it and got it everywhere. You are a pain in the butt. I just got done washing my face, brushing my teeth, doing all the skincare stuff. But I'm gonna close out the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so not at all what I thought this vlog was gonna go like, but you know what? Sometimes that happens, but I might be vlogging my weekend tomorrow. I'm not sure yet, I haven't decided. But yeah, if you guys liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future upload from me. And I guess until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, thanks for watching. God make the world smile. Is that smudged the whole entire time?